Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be discussing about some of the talent administration related part. Uh, as soon as you hear about an you know, administration part, you might have heard about you know TAC and TMC. So TAC is uh, nothing but talent administration center, and uh, TMC is talent management console. So these two are um, primarily used for administration purposes. Right. In general, uh, let us understand why talent administration or why uh, TAC or TMC uh, is used in um, you know talent projects. So the first and foremost thing is for administration purposes. So for example, if you are creating a new project, no new user, new user group, and if you want to uh, assign a particular role and uh, authorize uh, certain developers for you know read and write operations so all of that administration can be done using uh, TAC or TMC so in in a few minutes I'll also get into differences between TAC and TMC but on a very high level let us understand the uh, um, you know the role of administration in any ETL projects right and once we have that uh, user and projects created the next thing is to um, next thing is on the management side so management of uh, creation of new tasks, creation of you know plans, scheduling it, and making sure we set the dependency. Um, all of that uh, is done under the management, right? And then moving on, uh, operations. So operations is primarily used for executing the job, um, rerunning the job, checking for the log, checking for the status. All of that uh, can be done around operations. And then comes the monitoring part. Uh, so this is where you will be able to see the logs, um, switch the environments and uh, check for the errors, rerun, all of that you can do it uh, using the monitoring. And then uh, there are many other uh, administration related features. <coughs> so let's get uh, into some of the comparison now. Uh, so as you most of you know, uh, TAC is administration center it is primarily uh, uh, built for on-premise uh, servers whereas TMC is cloud only uh, offering from the talent side right and then moving on uh, the environment so each uh, for each environment you need to have a separate installation for TAC right if you have like dev uh, test and uh, prod you, will, you need to have three different servers three different uh, you know installation of uh, TAC services Whereas in TMC, there is only one single um, instance of uh, administration will give access to all the different environment. So thereby reducing your number of uh, servers. And then comes the monitoring part. So monitoring is also uh, in TAC, you will have to log into a different environment to do all such of monitoring, monitoring support and uh, other aspects. Whereas in TMC, it's just one single window. Uh, it's a browser based um, one single window wherein you will be able to switch different environments. So these are some of the you know main features and uh, I also uh, wanted to let you know that I have got a formal course on talent administration. Uh, you can visit courses.talentpro.com and this is where you will be able to see uh, TAC and TMC detailed videos and uh, um, a lot of hands on videos that is uh, done using uh, you know talent uh, the latest version of the talent all right so apart from that i also have some beginners and real time uh, project courses and a certification test practices and uh, also some interview um, you know faqs and preparation course as well so you can check it out on my website it is courses.talentpro.com and moving on uh, when it comes to deployment um, tac uh, is always a manual uh, in a way of you know, deploying a job uh, wherein you can even customize it uh, using some Jenkins and a lot of uh, customization that can be possible in TAC whereas in TMC it is uh, the code promotion or the deployment part is you know built in so moving your uh, code from uh, dev to QA, QA to prod all of that can be done in uh, just one single window uh, using a built-in feature Alright, and then uh, when it comes to pricing, tag pricing is low because it's a little bit older software and uh, it has got very limited uh, features as well. So the pricing is low and for TMC, the pricing is higher because everything is now provided by talent. So talent is main maintaining the servers for uh, the TMC. So obviously the pricing would be higher. 